guys welcome back we are wtfg studios we talk films and games yes you heard that correct thank you all for your positive response on our first video and that is why we are back with the second one subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for more updates in case you haven't already today we are going to be talking on one of my favorite topics of always had a soft spot for south korean films and drama and with parasite having won the best picture oscar this year south korean cinema has gained international exposure and acclaim for those who are still new to this industry and are ready to explore the fascinating filmmaking capabilities we have come up with a list to make your life easy before we get started please note this is not a rank list so do not go by a film's position on the list these are all unique and brilliantly made films that warrant your attention drum rolls playing in the background and now we will start with our list number one memories of murder Parasite director Bong Joon-ho's second feature film is so delightfully twisted that you will pull all your hair out in complete bewilderment. Set in the year 1986, a big city cop is summoned to preside over the investigation on serial killings of multiple young women, along with two clumsy amateurs. Their journey leads them to disconcerting depths and leaves viewers burning with mixed feelings of curiosity, sorrow, and defeat. Number two. I saw the devil. Byung Hun Lee and Min Suk Choi masterfully play the lead characters in this crime thriller with shades of horror that turn the classic raging cop versus serial killer scenario on its head. The thin line that separates good and bad begins to fade as the film draws to a close with psychological turmoil fully taking over. The film directed by Kim Hee Woon was unofficially remade in India as A Quillen. Number 3 The Chaser Call girls go missing and a former cop turned pimp seeks answers Inspired by an actual Korean serial killer Yoo Young Chil The Chaser directed by Na Hing Jin is backed by strong scripting and fantastic performances The film fetched a multitude of awards on release and was chosen to be renamed by Warner Brothers in a William Monaghan directorial potentially starring Leonardo DiCaprio However, the studio has not greenlit the project yet. It was um, rather unfaithfully reimagined in Bollywood as Murder 2. Number 4, Mother. Kim Yeja is a revelation in Bong Joon-ho's fourth directorial feature and her performance as the mother of an intellectually disabled 28-year-old who's framed for the horrendous murder of a young girl is nothing short of outstanding. Mother features several memorable scenes including the somewhat shocking climax. Number 5, The Man from Nowhere. A lonely shopkeeper is pushed to the limit of returning to his violent past when a little girl who he considers his only friend is abducted by an organ trafficking ring. Marked by two scintillating central performances from Bimwa and Kim Sara and an array of dazzling action set pieces, The Man from Nowhere is a thoroughly engaging film directed by Yong Bum Lee. Number 6, Old Boy. Featuring the daddy of all twist, Old Boy is widely regarded as one of the best South Korean films ever made. Directed by Park Chan-wook, the concept of revenge is presented in a highly unconventional manner in Old Boy. Min Sik Choi, Yu Ji Tae, and Kang Hai Hong shine in their respective character portrayals. The fight sequences in the film are a total scream, especially the single shot set piece. A Hollywood remake starring Josh Brolin was released in 2013 and turned out to be a box office disaster. Number 7, The Handmaiden. Another Park Chan-wook directorial, The Handmaiden, is a majestic blend of eroticism, revenge, psychological thrills, and visual ecstasy set in Japanese-occupied Korea during the 1930s. It has inspired from the novel Fingersmith by Welsh writer Sarah Waters and is narrated in three parts. It won the best film not in the English language at the 71st British Academy Film Awards. Number 8 The Host Looks like Bong Joon-ho is a recurring name on this list. 
This monster flick directed by him strikes a chord with most viewers for its classy performances, brilliantly executed action set pieces and dramatic heft. Another standout feature is the frequent lightening of tone through dialogue sprinkled with humor. When it released, it became the highest grossing South Korean flick up until that point. Number 9. A Taxi Driver One of my personal favorites, Yung Yang's film starts on a light-hearted note with a widowed taxi driver played by Kang Hong Sung trying to make ends meet for himself and his little daughter. The story takes a turn when he is asked to drive a German reporter into a war zone. Chances are that Cho Hanke will be wet with tears by the end of the movie. Apart from the classy performances by the lead, the film also garnered praises for its distinctive approach to the Guangzhou uprising in 1980. It might be handy to have to on standby as the film gets to its climax. Nope, not kidding. Number 10. The Wailing What is particularly great about The Wailing is the way Na Hing Jin seamlessly blends various subgenres of horror into a single narrative. It has a serial killer premise, a folk horror possession exorcism subplot, and even a zombie attack sequence. At a runtime of 2 hours and 36 minutes, it may be quite long for a horror movie but the suspense mounts gradually and peaks in the final act. The different manifestations of evil and their rather unusual portrayals are what makes this film must-see. Other South Korean titles that we recommend watching include Yong Sung Ho's Train to Busan, Kwok Jae Young's My Sassy Girl, Kim Hee Won's A Tale of Two Sisters, Pak Chan Wook's Lady Vengeance, Yung Ye Goon's Ode to My Father, and of course, Bung Jong Hoon's Parasite, just in case if you've not watched it yet. Have you got more names in mind? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed watching, do not forget to like this video, share it with every movie maniac that you know, and subscribe to our channel for more movies and video game updates. Take care and stay safe.